All right, so for the sake of this, we're going to be using blue stacks because that was really the only way to get on a computer. The first three videos I recorded on my phone, which to be honest, doesn't really mean the best quality. So yeah, here we're going to start. So we have the opening EA pop cap. That's a pretty nice logo. I mean, it's, it very basically resembles the first two. So yeah. Actually, we're just going to lower the volume once we get into the game just so you guys are able to hear me I'm not really sure how this is going so I'm just kind of diving my head into it we're going to see how it is I know most people really like to just compare the first two games or the first three games to <laughs> sorry yeah the first two games they really like to compare those and then compare this one and then say oh it doesn't fit like the same concept but that's not what we're looking at today we're just doing a very basic review there's dave You know, I gotta say, I really like the art style for this game. It's actually not bad. Dave just has like a bunch of garbage. So we're about to get into level one right now. So here we go. Is there like settings so then I can... You know, I'm not sure if anyone really remembers, but, well, for the first game, you unlock the middle lane for Wait. You have to place a sunflower in the second lane. Oh, that's kind of weird. Okay, there we go. Now we can just lower the music, lower the sound, just to make sure you guys can hear me. Honestly, this is something I should have prepared beforehand, but it is what it is. Oh, and it seems that they have a life system, so give up. You lose one brain. You know, that kind of adds, I guess, a little more to it. To be honest, I've never been the biggest fan of this kind of system. But it works sometimes. Like, I know Angry Birds 2 uses it. Candy Crush uses it. There's a lot of different mobile games that use it. But, alright, here we go. I'm just going to lower it a little more. Sorry. Okay. And then, so... These are actually pretty nice animations with... The, oh, now it wants me to place it behind. You know, I've always been the kind of person to like to place the sunflowers behind and then the peachers, you know, in front. Because then peachers, peas, like, you know, just hit the zombie faster. But I guess it does add to defense. It, it really just depends on what strategy you're going with. And then I see they updated the design. So, for the most part, they have very, they have decently, well, the sunflower wasn't a character, like, a character you could place down before in the original betas before it just produced it on its own maybe they just added some far back to add maybe more interaction to the game and then so I see they start with these two instead of the middle lane as they do at the beginning of like the first and second game but yeah, these are actually, these are really nice graphics. I mean, the zombies do look a little wonky. Like the, I mean, the animation isn't the smoothest, but like, I really enjoy the design of these plants. Like they're really good compared to the first and second. Like I will give this game that. For every oh dang so the zombies I guess they kill the plants a lot faster in this game usually it takes a little longer for them to eat at them that's a pretty good celebration screen so yeah. hmm okay so now this one probably has a different reward system we have coin well we've always had coins but for the first game they don't usually unlock till later. And then for the second game, they don't really gain much use until... Yeah, they don't usually gain much use until later in the game, but we'll just see how this goes. So for this game, we have tasks. So I guess tap here to spend your taco ticket and help Dave. Okay. So I'm guessing maybe they're like kind of the gem currency. Okay. Come on, just a little tweak here to get some signal. Okay, I'm not going to read that, sorry. You can read it yourself. Um, so, huh. 
I wonder which one. To be honest, I think I'm just gonna go with the disco ball. It doesn't really matter. Pandora's Plants is on. Alright, Crazy Dave being as dumb as he usually is. He does look a little, um, goofy, to be honest. He has a very different design from, um, not every other game, because Garn Warfare 1, PvZ 1, and PvZ 2, they kind of take the same design. Then they change it. Actually, PvZ Heroes takes the same design as well. So, I guess they change it up in Garden Warfare 2 with the 3D model, and then this game with that kind of animation. To be honest, yeah, I'm I'm impressed with the animation. I know a lot of people like to complain because, well, it's not the original, but yeah, today we're just trying to look at how this game is. Well, the tutorial wasn't the greatest. Okay, now I can actually play some players in the back. And then, so they took off the two, the two digits for the sun, so now it's just one, two. To be honest, I never really understood having that many digits in there in the first place. But, it, it's not really that big of a thing, it's just kind of... To be honest, that's kind of better, and then I get, you save on more resources. I'm not sure what the max sun in this game would be, though, compared to the other games. Probably gonna need to get some defenses up here and down here. Okay, so that one's dead. Um, get another sunflower there. Some production. Okay, so we'll get another pea shirt down here. If um, this one looks fine, but we'll get a walnut if we need to. Okay, I think we're fine. I mean, you know what? Okay, there we go. But yeah, so there's never been a game where Pea Shooter has actually just had the same design apart from Garn Warfare 1 and Garn Warfare 2. Even then, they do change the model up a little bit. <laughs> oh, so they actually do bring in his niece from the comic books. If you guys didn't know that that was from the comic book. And then so now we kind of have like this little like world kind of menu thing. I'm being honest, I kind of wish that PvZ2 took this approach. I know originally they wanted to take this approach, but they didn't end up going with it, maybe because it made the game too complicated. I mean, to be honest, I know mobile games, it's kind of annoying when they make them a little complicated, because, like, you know, you don't want to be on your phone all the time, but in a way, I kind of like it, because it, it just adds more interaction to the game. Which sometimes is really just what, you know, I want. Like, it's nice to just have it. Okay. Again, I don't like how it just places Pichur in the back. Like, I'm not sure if they see. Do, are there actually people who just place Pichur like behind the sunflowers? Like, I don't know. I can understand catapults being behind, but like Pichur, I don't know. It's just not something I do. I guess maybe one thing people didn't like too much about this game and the second one was that in the first one, 
each plant is kind of made for a specific purpose, like to counter certain obstacles. And I mean, we'll see how this game tackles that approach, but I know PvZ2, they just kind of added in like a bunch of plants to the point where there's many options to where you would just choose one plant over the other because it's objectively better, if that makes sense. Because, I mean, you can argue some are just objectively better than others, but there are certain situations where you would want to use one over the other, depend depending on the kind of dynamic of the level. Like, for example, maybe if the zombies are coming quicker, you don't have time to place a repeater, so you place a pea shooter instead. Oh, so we kind of get to decorate our own lawn. I mean, kind of a housescape. What is that game? Housescapes. But... I mean, like I said, adds more interaction. It's pretty cool. And then you get to just have, like, your own house. I mean, that's, like, cool. Like, I mean, I kind of wanted that with the console version and uh, PC version of the first PVZ. I know they kind of have, like, your own house, like, on the leaderboard. But, like, this is cool. Like... I wonder if you can replay the levels though, like later. Oh, and then Bamboo Shoot. So Bamboo Shoot, um, he shoots like a rocket. He's in, um, he was in the original beta of this game. And then, yeah, again, with the defenses, or the, yeah. Okay, so Bamboo Shoot, he's from Garn Warfare 1. But they took him from the original beta. In the original beta, he also shot rockets. Not sure if you guys remember, assuming you guys actually watched it. But, um, so yeah. So, he shoots rockets, which honestly is pretty cool. Because they don't really have any plants that just shoot, like, really powerful object Like, objective... <laughs> sorry. Projectiles, like, in a straight direction. Like, I know they have the catapults and stuff. But there's never really just been one like this. Like, it's kind of just like a stronger pea shooter in a way. Oh, this time I guess they take a little while longer to shoot. I mean, they do cost four, but like, you know, they could shoot a little faster. I have no idea how much damage each thing is doing. It's kind of hard to tell how- Because, I don't know, the zombies just seem different. And then they have, like, the different styles. I kind of wonder if his thing does explosive damage, or if it's just, like, whichever projectile it hits. Can I aid walnut? No, I cannot. I wonder if they'll have, like, an upgrade for that, like they did in the first two. Or if- I'll actually just have to just place a new ground light down each time. Oh, and then they have this they have the speed boost. I could have just been using that the whole time. Then I could get levels done faster. Okay, so now we're going to build a new fountain. Oh, th they kind of have, like, decorations from Garn Warfare. Yeah. So, the bathtub. The... Hmm. We'll go with the sink. If you can call it that. Oh, it's just... Well, it's a fountain, but it looks like a sink. Okay, so now we're going to continue to the next level, level 5. And then, so something they did improve in the second game, and I guess they improved it. Well, they added it to this game too, is the speed boost. So you can make the levels just go by faster. Oh, so we had to protect these sunflowers, because they're the only sunflowers we have. So we'll place be sure down. One of my big things about this game is just having a pattern, so I'm going to just place walnut right there. I'm not sure if a lot of people like having the pattern, but or if it's just a me thing, but 
As humans, we like seeing patterns. It's no, I didn't get to finish placing the piece here. Okay. To be honest, I think I should just try kind of speeding through this faster, so then we could probably get to the more difficult levels, if there will be more difficult levels. So, I'm not sure if I should make this like a series to continue playing this game, or if I should just do like, you know, a review video every once in a while. I'll see how things go with it after today, and then so, brains. Okay. So those, that like our life system, and then this. So now investigate the noise that was happening earlier. Mo. Like Mo from Wally? I mean, Mo from Wally does clean. Kind of reminds me of him. Oh, and then now we have the... We keep this. Oh, so that means if I lose a life, then. Okay. I mean, that's not really that useful since we're kind of in the beginning of the game. I'm not sure how they're planning to format this game. Oh, and then there's lawnmowers. Like, is this only on this one? Or. Hmm, I kind of wonder how that works. Can't speed this up. Okay. Ah, oh, so I literally can't make it. It's forcing me to make the pattern, isn't it? We don't have a shovel or anything. So we'll just have those P-shirts handle on these and then- Oh shoot, no. No! Okay, that was a mistake placing that some part of there. No! Let me finish the pattern. Please, let me finish the pattern. Oh no, I can't dig out the sump. Come on. Come on, all I need is four more. And then I finish the pattern. No, one more, one more. There we go. Oh no, but this guy just ruined the pattern. Oh, so it is for all the lanes. You guy became the pattern's ruined. So basically, the lawnmower just follows to any lane and then will kill anything. I wonder what those great are those like where the zombies die? I haven't really been paying attention to those graves too much. So, um, maybe we'll just get through the first nine days for this video and then we'll do more in the next video, assuming I make a next video. And then also, I actually, this is just something genuine. I do want to apologize for just not really making that much content. I've been kind of busy with just school and stuff, so it's been a little difficult to make content. But it's nice to just, like, you know, have this little video. I mean, I'm not sure if this is really doing much. Ah, dang it. It only gives me those. Okay. So, those will handle themselves. We'll place a walnut right there. We'll produce some sun. And then we'll get a pea shooter right here. Oh, we can make the pattern. Because these two are on the ends. Okay, I am not going to take that risk. Okay, oh, okay, but as I would... Oh, no, the flag zombie. Oh. Uh, got too far. Okay. And I can't, no, I can't dig up. Oh, man. Did I, did I just lose? Did I, did I just, like, did I really just lose? Does that lawnmower only work one time? Oh, it does. So, we lost. Okay. I'm just gonna start over and give up. I haven't seen the end screen yet. Okay, the zombies ate your brains. I wish they still did, like, the thing where Crazy Dave, like, yells no at the top of his lungs. Alright, okay. So I got distracted, as I was saying. I'm sorry I haven't been really releasing that much content. Like, you know, life, it's, I don't know, it's just really been busy. Like, I haven't had much time, but... I'm glad I'm able to release this video. I'm hoping we have more vi Well, actually, we are actually working on a project, which is Plan vs. Zombies related. It has to do with Peacher and Chomper, but you will get you guys will get more information on that later. But for now, just enjoy this video, and, um, yeah, the other- the videos I have been posting, like, very recently, 
they've been mostly just to get some form of content out. Because I do want to bring back my YouTube channel I hadn't uploaded for a pretty long time. So I'm hoping I can, like, bring it back if that's still really an option. But yeah, so ju just enjoy enjoy the show, I guess. That's all I really have to say. So we just got to make sure we get walnuts on these and then pea shooters. So then we have some form of defense. Because there's no way... Because this Alamar will not do much for us. It's universal, but it only hits one time. That's... I'm being honest, that kind of deteriorates the whole strategy aspect, in a way. Oh, no. Okay, so we're just going to place p -Sure back there. Hopefully we can get a walnut down. Okay, perfect. And then, we're probably gonna get, well, get another one right here, and then another p -Sure in the back, hopefully. Let's see what this bamboo shoot does for us. Not much. Okay. So we'll get the pea shooter right there. We'll get a walnut. Oh no. Okay, maybe we'll have to place down a sunflower. Okay, yeah, we'll have to place down a sunflower. Come on. No. No. No! Ah. Oh, okay, we lost that one. We still have these, but. Okay, we're just gonna speed this up. So then... This just ends faster. Yeah, I guess I kind, of, I kind of spoke too soon when I said it was going to be easier. I mean, so far it doesn't really seem like there's much strategy yet. It just kind of seems like the basic game, but the levels, they feel very strangely structured, but not in the way where you have to strategize, more just in the way where you have to play stuff down as soon as possible. Oh, so now, like, the plant... So now the plants are like power-ups. That's actually pretty neat. I kind of didn't like that about the second and first game where the power-ups, they just kind of made them like non-plant entities. Like they're just kind of uh, like in the first one, they have the whack -a zombie I mean, the mini game's cool, but like as the power-up, like, you know, they could have just added something that maybe added more to the plant aspect of the game but uh, i actually wonder what these things do if they do anything okay so they just slightly damage them that's kind of useless can i place anything like that? looks like i can Yeah, that's not doing me much, so I just kind of have to do that. Okay, so Grapes of Wrath- And then also it doesn't cost anything, like... Unless maybe it's gonna cost something later. I'm wondering if they're gonna have plant foods in this game. That was another thing I liked about PvZ2, the plant food. It added also more stre- It- It was a way to make up for the strategy i guess deterioration that they implemented into the game like they make a lot of plants very obsolete near the beginning which to be honest can be a little annoying and then they reintroduced the rake into the game which plan vs zombies 3 nor here or plan vs zombies 2 nor heroes had so that's pretty cool. Okay. Okay, the zombie went down there. Did it glitch? Maybe. I'm, I'm not sure. I, okay. So it's gonna hit the rake. Rake kills it. It stands. The rake slaps in the face and then it dies. I don't think I've ever actually seen it happen to a conehead zombie before now that I really I'm hoping they have potato mine in this game. Like, the way they're introdu- They're not really introducing the plants, they're just kind of throwing them in. And then, I haven't really seen, like, a choose your plants kind of thing yet, so I'm wondering if maybe the levels are formatted just with specific plants. I guess that's just something we'll figure out later. It does add more challenge to it, because then you can only work with what you're given. Like, for example, right now I can't use pea shooters. Does Bamboo shoot? Has he always shot this slow? I really don't remember. 
We're about to find out if it has explosive damage or just like... No, I think it's just single target. And then we have Grapes of Wrath. Finish the pattern right here, and then, um, I think they have those too. I'll just keep my cursor on the walnut for a little bit, just in case something happens. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Okay, so yeah. If we didn't place anything, then it would have died. I don't think we're gonna finish the pattern, though. We can speed this up. Oh, shoot. No, this one. Kill some part. Come on. Come on, no. Please. Well, I guess technically if we were able to dig out this walnut, we would have had a pattern. Which is sure. Oh. So the graves appear over what they do. Okay. And now we just finished the ninth level, so now we're about to see what happens. Help sunflower grow. Sunflowers need your help. Complete levels and watch it grow. Is this like an event? Oh, it is an event. Okay. So now we're just going to do everything here. Ooh. So yeah, it does cut. It is kind of that housecapes like format. You know what? We'll do this one. We'll just stick to the basic one. I mean, it's not the same as the basic one, but it has like the same tricycle and kind of aesthetic as it did before. At least a little bit. It kind of resembles it. Not completely, but it is what it is, right? Okay. And then so now he talks to a robot, not his van, Penny. Okay, we'll just finish all this stuff with like the yard and... Mm. So Landscaper from PvZ Garn Warfare, Garn Warfare 2, the other new zombie, and then basic zombie out of a flower pot. Gargantuar, Buckethead, and what I assume to be the Imp. And then zombies from, if I had to guess, Neon Mixtape Tour. Hmm. I think I'll go with this one. So you kind of have just like different designs. So kind of like a... I want to say a retro futuristic, but not really, because... Actually, it's more like uh, 80s, I get. I have to guess. Okay. So we're just going to do this, and then now that we kind of have... Oh, okay. Start a new day, the next day. You know, I like how every time they've re-released this game, it's always kind of just had like a different approach. I mean, for the most part, most of them kind of had like that third person view, like from the outside, like where you see everything. But like they they've always like taken just like a different approach to everything. At least from what I've seen so far. Okay, so Hey, right, so we're out of tickets, so we're just going to chill on that. Let's check out this event right here. So there's the baby sunflower, and then so complete levels. So oh, so we just kind of complete levels after what we just did. So to be honest, I'm not going to go into that right now. Um, I don't think any of this other stuff is you can interact with it. Maybe until it can't even interact with these things. Oh, you can change this stuff. I didn't even see that. So you can't really interact with any of the background stuff, probably because it's still in beta. Um, but so, yeah, um, that pretty much completes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please subscribe if you really want to see more videos on PVZ3 or just stuff 
made by Fishes in the Hood in general. I'm not sure how far I'm planning to go with Plan vs. Zombies 3. I know I haven't really gone that far. This is just to kind of continue the series. But we'll see how things go, and I will see you guys in the next video. So thank you guys. Have a great rest of your day.